Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we're going to talk about a movement sensor. Here, yeah, this is the movement sensor we have in our starter kit. This is a typical movement sensor and if you look at movement sensors, they always look a little bit fancy. Okay, So they always look like a crystal-like and so on and they all are oh, pretty nice, I would say. Yeah, This is a typical design of movement sensor if we cover it somewhere in a casing, then it could be in a lamp or something like this. However, if you just undo this cover, remove this cover, here this is the actual sensor, looking much less spectacular, right? This is a pure electric infrared sensor, PIR sensor. This pure electric infrared sensor is a living of the pure electric effect. So this is a semiconductor material and this is reacting on changes of infrared radiation. Okay, so if some infrared radiation is changing, then this sensor is changing some property and this is detected by, detected by the logic and we switch. All right, if the infrared uh, radiation stays constant, nothing will be happening. Yeah? This is why these sensors only react on living beings which radiate heat and not just on movement of some, I don't know, leaves. Yeah? Or wind movement. If you put on this cover, it's looking fancy again. Good. Here we do have some connectors. Well, there's the power connector. There's this there's the ground and plus 5 volt, and the middle one is the switched one. All right, uh, and then we do have two different, different adjustments. Well, one is the delay down, that's the left one. Okay, so this one is the delay down. If you're going to the left, it's around three seconds. If you're going fully to the right, it's about five minutes, okay, and you can adjust the delay time between in between. And this here is the sensitivity. You can turn it pretty down, and you can can turn it pretty high up. Okay, somewhere in middle position is middle sensitivity, middle sensitivity. And here we do have uh, a jumper. Currently, it sets to to single single reaction, and if we jump it a little bit more to the middle, like that, yeah, then it's jumped to continuous reaction. Yeah. So here there's a single trigger event triggering the delay time. Here the last trigger event is triggering the relay time. However, in between trigger events we always have three, if we turn off, yeah, we always have three seconds, around three seconds gap. So let's switch it to single trigger. Here I'm going to use here my, my cable again. So I am using here brown as ground again. We're like this, huh? brown is ground, plus 5 volt here on red, and the signal is again orange. Okay, And to show you how this is working, I will not use the Arduino, I will just use here my power supply. Yeah? I will plug this into plus 5 volt and ground. Correct order, yes. I will use the signal here. Simply somewhere, all right. I just have to place this that it's pointing away from me, all right, because it's actually important that I'm not triggering this all the time. And I will use simply an LED for indicating the switch status to show you how this is working. Turn it on. Now it was triggered once. Yeah. 
So in the beginning, it always starts with a signal. How many seconds I have adjusted? Okay, I will turn it down simply, root, yeah, to three seconds, then we have it. Okay, now if I'm if I'm moving my hand here, so I'm not talking. Hand is not enough, or what? Turn the sensitivity a little bit higher. Uh -huh. Hand. Uh -huh. You always have to wait until after the light is going off. Yeah. Ah, now it's working as expected. You see. Uh, if the light is turned off, it, the, the sensor needs a little bit rest, around three seconds. And then, if I'm going inside the detection area, you see it's working. Now it's not. Ah, now it is again because I was within these three seconds. This is sometimes a little bit annoying, all right? So now, if we are moving outside, and if we are turning now this knob a little bit up, yeah, so that it's not that fast off, we might even see it a little bit better. Let's see how many seconds we do have now. Also not too much. Again, a little bit up. Here it is. It's time. So, I don't know. You see, you can adjust the time. Now it's already pretty long. So it's uh, quite sensitive. I mean, it's, you know, it's 270 degree and it's changing between five seconds and, and five minutes. Or three seconds and five minutes, something like this. So it's, yeah, sensitive. Turn it again a little bit down, maybe. Yeah. All right. One time I show you, and then I will say my closing words. Huh? Now it's detected. Yeah. And you see, it stays on longer. Huh? This is because I simply adjusted the, the delay time. All right. So next time we want the reaction of the Arduino. Yeah? So we want to have this switch of the Arduino. We want to connect this input to our Arduino and the Arduino shall switch something. Yeah? We can also switch a light, it doesn't really matter. However, yeah, the goal is of course to make this gap in between uncovered. Okay? Covered. Uncovered. It, should, it shall be covered. So if I'm moving, the light shall be on and it, if it is turning off, immediately after it's, after it's turning off, I should be able to trigger it again. Okay. How this is working and how this is done, we will see in next video. Alright. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.